What is going on guys, Tim Sage Hugh, and I have a huge update to tell you guys. If you haven't heard, Sledgehammer Games is deciding to revamp the division system in Call of Duty World War II, and they're going to completely change the gameplay of this game. So basically to me, it's going to be like a World War II remastered, and they are actually changing a lot of things. This is a huge update. This is one of the biggest updates I have ever seen in Call of Duty history. So the first thing I'm going to talk about are you know the items such as the smg suppressor the shotgun incendiary shells the rifle bayonet and also the pistol tactical knife all of these items will become standard attachments to the loadout you can actually put any division you want and still have the suppressor you have to be using smg in order to be using the suppressor but you can use any other division before it was just the airborne which is able to use the suppressor now you can use any division you like so that's a great change i like that same thing with the shotgun incendiary shells and the rifle bayonet and pistol tactical knife it's just a huge update i love it it just makes sense it makes the game better makes everything better and also the thing they even change is prime it was a basic training but not that much people really liked it so uh, the studio felt had become a crush which is what they called it and they're actually taking away Primed and introducing Unlimited Sprint. Gameplay is going to be so much different. I wonder how this is going to feel like Unlimited Sprint. It may not be as realistic, but I feel like the gameplay would be more improved this way because it's more fast paced and you don't run out of breath too quickly. Because I remember when I was trying to, you know, run around without the airborne, I was just stopping like every three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, you name it. But I'm glad they did this. I'm glad they introduced unlimited sprint, makes things quicker and people won't be as bothered when they're sprinting. So those are mainly one of the changes. They also removed the bang basic training and there's a modification of launch now, which you can equip both lethal and tactical equipment in loadouts and launchers use as a secondary. So that's pretty good. And that's not the only thing that's coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the War Machine release. And I can't wait to try it out because I haven't bought a DLC in a long time. So I may buy this map pack if it turns out to be good and gets good reviews. So yeah, guys, tomorrow is going to be a big day. I can't wait to try out this whole different looking Call of Duty World War II. World War II version 2. Let's get it. I'm excited. Tell me if you're excited. That is the question of the day. Thanks guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.